hello everyone i hope you all are doing good so today i have made this lesson plan of mathematics and the topic is measurement okay and this is for class 3 4 you can also use it for class 5 also okay so and there will be a uh, very interesting homework activity and uh, one two more activities that i'll be telling you that you can do while uh, teaching this chapter okay so watch the video till the end and i hope you like it let's get started so in the starting we'll write the details like teacher's name then class 3 4 or 5 or whatever you are using you can alter the uh, subject matter and make it according to your class also and then we'll write the subject mathematics then our topic which is measurement after that we'll write date okay you'll write the date on which you'll be teaching the chapter then period in which period you'll be teaching then duration which is 45 minutes approximately okay or whatever time you take you can write that after that comes general objective so as you know that general objectives are related to the subject so i have written it and you can also copy it in all the maths uh, general objectives okay in all the lesson plan of mathematics so first one is to enhance the thinking ability of students second is to help students to understand the concepts of mathematics clearly third to help students to relate mathematical knowledge to their practical lives fourth to increase students interest in mathematics okay then is specific objectives which is related to the topic okay first one is to help students to understand the meaning and use of measurement second to help students understand various ways of measuring things third to help students to know about different units used to measure different things fourth to help students to do the conversion in measurement okay so we'll be covering all these topics that are listed in the specific objectives so these are our aims okay these all things we'll cover in our chapter so after that in our lesson plan we are going to write teaching aids okay teaching aids are the materials that you use for teaching the chapter okay so we need chalk duster blackboard pointer chart measuring tape scale weighing blocks etc you can uh, take all these materials that are needed in a measurement chapter okay so you just show them okay so so that the class becomes interactive that's it after that and also more interesting when children uh, look at the real life objects uh, although they have seen it previously but they find it more interesting to see it again okay when the teacher brings it in the classroom to teach a specific topic it becomes more interesting for them so it's always uh, good to carry things if you have after that in our lesson plan we write previous knowledge assumed then it is assumed that students have seen people doing measurements in their life and have knowledge of four operations of mathematics so by four operations of mathematics we mean addition subtraction multiplication and division okay you can mention them clearly here also but i have written four operations which is uh, understood okay then is previous knowledge testing so in this we make two columns first one is teachers activities and the other one is students activities so what is the teacher going to do here the teacher is going to uh, show a chart and then ask the questions okay the student have to answer so showing the chart having two pictures first question she ask who is this man in the first picture students will say a tailor okay then she will say what is he doing and why they will answer he is taking measurements to stitch clothes then the teacher will put up the question what woman doing in the second picture they will answer she is buying vegetables from a hawker then the teacher will put up the next question does the hawker randomly packs the vegetables without actually measuring so they will answer no the hawker is weighing the vegetables before giving so the last question would be what else do you know about measurement and why do we need it so there would be no response as it is problematic question they don't know much about measurement okay so now we'll announce our topic okay because our this part previous knowledge testing part should land on to our announcement of the topic okay so the question should be such that that we will announce our topic okay so the next setting is announcement of the topic which is well students today we will study in detail about measurement okay we'll tell them the topic then we don't tell the topic in the starting okay so here comes the presentation part if you are liking the video so far please give it a thumbs up so for this presentation part we make four columns first is teaching point second teachers activities third students activities fourth is blackboard work okay uh, first teaching point is what is measurement so we are going to explain the students what is measurement okay so you can write in teachers activities on the top also that the teacher will explain the definition of measurement okay so i have written it directly so measurement is the act of quantifying or measuring time weight length temperature capacity etc 
measurement of any quantity is expressed in two parts a numeric value and a specific unit okay so what will students do students will listen attentively and blackboard work what will be right on the blackboard we'll write the heading measurement and then we'll write measurement is the act of quantifying or measuring time weight length temperature capacity etc okay and then we can give them an example we'll draw a scale okay or we can also show them a scale and uh, we can uh, tell them that uh, this scale is of 7 centimeter right so we'll tell them that 7 is numeric value and centimeter is the specific unit that we use to denote the measurement of the scale okay so we can just give them an example because they already know this centimeter and meter and uh, these things okay they are aware of kilogram because uh, they buy things from the market okay so or their mothers do or their parents do okay so after that second teaching point is how to measure so first one is measuring length okay so we'll tell them how to measure length okay and for this we'll tell them two ways first one is in olden times how we used to measure length in olden days okay so we'll tell them parts of the body were used to measure length of different objects some of the units used were a hand span distance from the tip of the thumb to the tip of the little finger when fingers are widespread second is cubit distance from the elbow to the tip of the middle finger when hand is outstretched see and similar ways we can explain arm span pace foot span okay i have not uh, given the full definition over here you can also mention it or you can leave it like this okay so what will students do students will draw the body parts used to measure length in olden times in their notebooks and label them we can also show we'll also show them on the blackboard okay we can draw it on the blackboard so that the students can copy or they can they will get to know okay it is much interesting to know it this way or we can show them by using our body parts okay or by actually showing them how to uh, how people used to measure things in olden days we can all actually show them okay by measuring few things that are there in the classroom so yeah, on the board we'll write measuring length in olden days uh, a is hand span so you can draw a hand and make an arrow that from this tip to this tip uh, the length is measured like was measured like that then cubit and arm span okay you can also draw images like i have drawn after that next one is standard units of measuring length okay so those were the things uh, those were the body parts that were used in olden times to measure length but now standard units are used okay so we'll explain them that as no two persons have equal fingers hand spans or foot size so the mathematicians decided to have standard units of length okay some units for measuring length are millimeters centimeters meters kilometers etc si unit is meter okay we can we'll also tell them what do you mean by si unit okay so si basically stands for system international okay so the international system okay is meter standard meter is standard unit is meter okay so some instruments used to measure length are ruler or measuring tapes okay etc there are more things so students what will students do students will listen carefully we'll write on the board standard units of measuring length we'll mention all the units millimeter centimeter meter kilometer and we'll also write the short forms okay uh, their short forms in brackets so that they can understand it well because mainly the short forms are used and not the full forms and students will note down in their notebooks also we we'll clearly mention si unit is meter of length instrument used to measure length is ruler measuring tape okay then is measuring weight so units for expressing the weight of certain objects include gram kilogram tons etc a weighing scale or a balance is a device used to measure weight or mass si unit is kilogram okay so students will note down the important points we'll write on the board measuring weight units for expressing weight are gram kilogram tons okay si unit is kilogram instrument used to measure weight is scale or balance then is measuring volume so volume but we'll explain them what is volume because at this stage students are not aware of this word okay they don't know the meaning so we'll tell them the meaning first that volume is the space occupied by an object whether it is solid liquid or gas okay but here we are going to uh, specifically talk about the liquid things so we'll tell them the units to measure the volume of liquids okay which are millimeters and liters si unit of volume is cubic meter okay 
students will note down the important points and we'll write the same things on the board measuring volume units to express volume milliliter liter si unit is meter cube okay all cubic meters then comes measuring time fourth part so units to express time include seconds minutes hour days weeks months years etc a clock and calendar helps us to measure time right we'll tell them and students will listen carefully we'll write all these things all the units to express time on the board okay i hope you are getting it after that comes the conversion part so third teaching point is conversion of units okay now is the main part of this chapter which is conversion so we'll tell them firstly how to con how to do the conversion of length okay how to do the conversion of length so facts we'll tell them the facts first okay that one centimeter is equals to 10 millimeter one meter equals to 100 centimeter one kilometer equals to thousand meter okay and then we'll also tell them that or we can just mention it okay that millimeter is smaller than centimeter which are smaller than meter which are smaller than kilometer okay so we'll now tell them one by one that if we want and we can make these uh, small small diagrams on the board so that it becomes very easy for them to understand also okay and uh, keep in mind to remember these things the measurements how to how to convert so make these diagrams and we can write if we want to convert from centimeter to meter any number from centimeter to millimeter sorry what do we have to do we have to multiply by 10 and if we have to convert from millimeter to centimeter then we have to divide by 10 okay there is a very short formula that i would like to uh, tell all the uh, teachers that are looking forward that are uh, looking at this lesson plan that there is a formula which is sbd okay sbd is, uh, there is sbd and bsm okay so sbd is when we convert from smaller unit to bigger unit okay sb what do we do we divide okay and bsm which means from big to small what do we do we multiply okay so you can use these two codes okay which is very easy to remember okay and then they can uh, easily do the conversions sbd and bsm okay i have not mentioned it here you can just tell them orally after that we will tell them how to convert from meter to centimeter we multiply by 100 and from centimeter to meter we divide by 100 okay students will do the observation then from converting kilometer to meter we multiply by 1000 and from meter to kilometer we divide by 1000 and why 100, 1000 and 10 are coming you can explain okay and we can draw these small diagrams that I have drawn on the board for them to remember then conversion of weight we'll tell them the fact that one kilogram equals to thousand gram and to convert from kilogram to gram we multiply by thousand from gram to kilogram we divide by thousand okay and students will note down in their notebooks all these important points then the volume facts is one liter equals to thousand milliliter same thing applies large uh, sorry liter to milliliter if we want to convert we'll multiply by thousand and milliliter to liter we divide by thousand okay then comes the time part We'll, we'll write just the facts okay uh, one year equals to 12 months one month four weeks one week seven days one day 24 hours one hour 60 minutes one minute 60 seconds okay students will listen carefully they already know these things they have studied about it this was it and now comes the recapitulation part so first question is what are the older ways to measure length of object second what is the si unit of weight third what are the units used to express volume fourth which unit of length is more or higher meter or centimeter fifth how can we convert a number from grams to kilograms basically we are asking them the formula how to do it okay after that comes our interesting part that is the homework one okay so first question that we are going to give them as homework is measure the following things by using the older ways of measuring length and also by using a measuring tape and write it in a tabular form okay first one is width of a cupboard second length of a refrigerator of the refrigerator third is length of your room okay so what they are going to do they are make, going to make a table okay with two columns first one they'll write uh, how it was used to do in older olden day olden days and in the next column they will write the standard units okay they are going to measure it using the standard units of measurement so for example in the first one when they'll measure width of a cupboard they can use their hand spans okay and for example they'll write that uh, there are six hand spans 
okay in the first column and uh, they can measure that the width of the cupboard is approximately uh, 40 inches or so okay whatever then second question we can ask them to do the following conversions okay 800 centimeter they have to convert 800 centimeter to meter then 5 kilometer to meter 3 liter to milliliter 750 grams to kilogram 400 meter to kilometer okay this was it i would like to tell you one more activity that you can do with them for this chapter as promised uh, in the starting what you can do is you can in the classroom when you'll be uh, teaching how to me how people used to measure uh, length in olden days what you can do is you can um, ask some students to come there okay uh, along with you and you can ask them to measure few things that are present there in the classroom uh, you can ask uh, for example uh, you can ask five students to measure the length of the teacher's table okay using their hand spans and they can count how many hand spans they have used to uh, measure the length of the teacher's table and then you can ask some the other student to come and do the same thing and then the other to do the same thing and then you can measure it with your hands okay so then you can show them the difference that everyone's hand is different okay everyone's size of hand is different so we cannot have a standard unit that is why the need of standard unit arises okay we can do this activity or you can ask them to measure uh, the length of the classroom by uh, the footsteps okay by using the footsteps so we can do these activities which will be very interesting okay i hope you like the video and if you have liked it please give it a thumbs up and do tell me in the comment section below uh, how did you find out my video and also if you want a lesson plan on any other topic then you can also mention it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel please do subscribe that means a lot to me and share my video as much as you can with your friends Thank you.